Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fourth Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about the global object. Okay then guys, when we write JavaScript in a browser, the global object is the window, right? The window object. And we can access properties and methods on that window object, such as alert, scroll or set timeout, etc. Now, when we write JavaScript in Node, the global object is no longer the window object because we're not in a browser anymore. The global object in Node is an object called global. But much like the window object, it gives us access to some methods we can use straight out of the box in Node.js. So I'm on the Node.js documentation right here and I'm looking at the global object which lists all of these methods we can use on it. So we can see things like set interval and set timeout and uh, console which were also available on the window object in the browser and they're also available on the global object in node.js plus some other stuff as well so let's go ahead into atom and try a few of these out so i've still got this app.js file that we made a couple of tutorials back but i've deleted the contents of it and here in the terminal i am in the node.js playlist directory so I'm going to show you first of all something we saw a couple of tutorials back which is available to us on this global object and that is console.log. So we can log things to the terminal down here using console.log in Node. So I could just write any message I want here, save this and then run the application in Node by saying node app and then that's going to log this message to the console. So we can still use that in Node. Now, some of the other things we can use, also available on the window object, are set timeout. So let's try that. We'll say set timeout, and in this, we're gonna fire function, and this function is gonna fire after 3000 milliseconds. And inside this function, I'm just gonna say console.log, and then put three seconds have passed. So when we run this file in Node, set timeout is going to fire this function after 3000 milliseconds which is three seconds and then it's going to log this message to the terminal down here so let's go ahead and type in node app press enter and we still get that hey ninjas because i've not saved this file okay i've done that now now let's try it again node app and this time we wait three seconds and then it's going to log three seconds have passed to this terminal down here okay so we also have set interval available to us on the global object. Again, much like on the window object. And this time what I'm gonna do is change this to 2000 milliseconds. And I'm gonna pop here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll create a variable up here. And I'm gonna call this time and I'll set it equal to zero. Okay. And then every time this function is called, because we're going to set this to set interval, not set timeout. So every time this function is called after 2000 milliseconds, what we're going to do is add two to this time variable. So we'll say time plus equals two. Okay. And then we're going to log here time to the console or to the terminal down here plus this string. So every time it's going to update by two and it's going to tell us how many seconds have passed in total. So let's save this now and run it down here by saying node app. And every two seconds, we're gonna see a message logged to the console and it's updating the time each time around, okay? And you'll notice that node is still running this file. It's caught in some kind of loop, if you like, and it's never gonna end unless we tell it to end. So the way we end a process down here in the terminal is just by hitting control and C and then that stops it okay okay so we can also use clear interval and to do that we'll set this interval equal to a variable and we'll call it timer we'll set it equal to that and then what we'll do down here is a simple if check to say if the time is over five seconds then what we're going to do is clear the interval and the interval is this thing right here, the timer. So let's pop that in there. Save that and let's try this. Node app. And again, we're gonna wait two seconds, print out those 
messages to the terminal, then after it reaches the six second one, because it's over five seconds right here, it's gonna clear that interval. Okay, so we've seen all these things before on the window object. I just wanted to show you that they are also available on the global object in Node, so we can use these anywhere within our Node application. A couple of other things I wanna show you which are really cool and helpful are the dir name and file name. So Node can tell us where we are in a particular directory or what file we are in. And we can do that by saying something like this, console.log, and then we say underscore, underscore, dir name. And this is also on the global object, so we can use this uh, wherever in our Node application. So if I save that now and run it, node app, it's gonna tell me the directory that I am in. And it's the Node.js playlist. And that's the directory that this file is in. You can see it sits in the Node.js playlist directory. And if I copy that, paste it down here, and change this to file name instead, and press save, we're gonna run this again, Node app. And this time it gives me the full file as well as the directory, you can see. So there are two really cool utilities that we can use again anywhere in Node.js or anywhere in our application in Node.js because they sit on the global object. So what I'm gonna do is leave a link to that documentation page to the global object so you can go and have a look through that because there are a couple more things you might wanna look at. And we're gonna be covering more things on the global object in future tutorials such as require, and exports. But for now, I think what we've covered will do to get us started. So any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise guys, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.